Hey there, David from iOS Dev School here. And in this course, we are going to build a loan tracker application using Swift UI 3.0 and our latest uh, iOS, which was released a few days ago, which is iOS 15. To do this, we are going to use the beta version of Xcode 13. Currently, I'm using the first beta version, which was released again with iOS 15 beta. And uh, the point of this course, what we are going to focus on is how to pass data around our application, how to make the core part of our application to work. Uh, usually all the courses are focused on how to make Swift UI design part of the application, but very few of them cover how to really pass data and do the real part that our application will be called application because from each application, we expect that this application can do certain things and we need to pass data around, we need to do specific tasks. And this course is covering that specific things. We're not going to dive into the design aspect of the course. We're going to have just a simple functional design here, which works beautifully on dark mode and on uh, light mode. But uh, again, we're going to focus on the uh, transferring the data around. And um, the course is designed for people who have some knowledge with Swift UI. And also uh, it's good to have experience with in general iOS app development with Swift. I'm going to cover all the aspects that we are going to use in our application. And every single line of code will be uh, described and typed together and I'm going to explain everything. But again, uh, you need to have some kind of background developing iOS applications. So let's, um, let's see what our application will cover. We are using model view, view model pattern for this application. And uh, we're going to save everything in our core data. And also we're going to use CloudKit in order to sync our local database with the cloud in case if the user has multiple devices or if user decides to change his device, all the information stored in the uh, application will be persisted in the cloud. And once user downloads the application on his new device, it will be automatically synced with, uh, with the data we have persisted. So let's look at, at our application, what it has. And here we can see our loan view, all the loans here. We can click on the plus button to create an, any new loan. And we can add an amount here and also start and due date of each loan that you expected will have. So once we create a loan, we'll have it here with the due date and information about the amount we have uh, took. And also if we click on the loan, it will take us to a loan detail view, which basically we calculate uh, our loan progress. We see how much we have paid, how much is left to pay. It's, this bar is automatically dynamically loading depending on the payments. We have here a calculation of expected time when we are going to finish our loan in case if we continue paying the loan in a current manner. And the payments here, uh, we have a list view, which actually is grouping each year payment in one uh, section. And the section has a title with an, uh, the, the year and the total amount we have paid in that year. Obviously we can delete some payments and this will automatically update our uh, bar here, our the labels. And also uh, it will update this expected to finish. We can also add a new payment here. Let's say we want to pay 30,000 is today and we say save and 30,000 appears here and uh, our bar here loads and our total data is also changing. Well, we can also edit this if we want to change it, for example, to make it 3000. And again, as you can see, everything is updated automatically. So this is our application. It uh, consists of two parts, uh, loans, add loan and uh, payments and add payments uh, area. So we have four screens here. Again, uh, it's a simple UI. We can check out the dark mode as well. And uh, 
our UI is very simple, as I said. Uh, the point of this course is not in, to dive into Swift UI beautiful design building, but we are going to focus on the core of our application, how to make it work. If you want, you can play with this uh, course. Once we finish, you can play with the code, make it change the design the way you want or add extra functionality to it. It's uh, completely up to you. Uh, we are going to use this uh, clean and simple design and we're going to again focus on our functionality. Uh, if you are interested and if you like to take this course and learn how to pass data around in Swift and how to make the application really to be an application, a functionality of it, uh, go ahead and subscribe uh, to the course and we are going to start in our next lecture jumping right into our application and start building it.